Now, it's that awkward slump between Christmas and New Year when we've perhaps overindulged and not feeling our best and starting to think about what changes we want to make to our lives in 2023. But just how likely and how easy is it to achieve those New Year, New Me goals? Well, I'm joined in the studio by behavioural psychologist Dr Rachel Molitor from Coventry University. Lovely for you to come in. Thank you. But it's a difficult subject because it's New Year's resolutions and a lot of people struggle to fulfil them. How do you make them work? So you make New Year's resolutions work by making them manageable, making something that you can take into small chunks, small bites, and you can maybe look to the future and see what you want to achieve, but actually just taking small little snippets and think, today I'm going to do this much, and once I've achieved that, I can go forwards and go forwards. It's like going for a training to run for a half marathon, say, that's your, your New Year's resolution. You don't step out the door on January the 2nd and run the half marathon. That's not possible. Actually, it's about taking small goals to be able to achieve something, and then you get there in the long run. So do you think that the reason a lot of people fail is because they set out to, I don't maybe they want to lose weight and they don't hit the targets they've told them they will because we're human beings. Mm -hmm and then they just give up because they're not succeeding at the level they told themselves they must. Absolutely, and it's really important to realise we, we are humans and human behaviour is you may take four steps forwards and if you ever take one step back and you may slip up, that's okay. That's not saying we can quit it and start again next year for our next New Year's resolution. It's about understanding that that's fine, draw a line underneath that and carry onwards and you can still be really, really successful. And it's about finding those small measurable steps that you can take to go forwards and really try to achieve the goal for yourself because it's so important for a New Year's resolution to be your own goal that you want to achieve, not for somebody else, but for yourself. And if you choose your own goal, not only what you want to do, but why you want to do it, it will really mean that you can you can start to focus on not I don't you say lose weight or giving up smoking or um, exercising more. You're doing these things for yourself. And if you do, you can look at maybe a piece of paper and write it down and say what what I want to do and why I want to do it. And it really helps to create that behaviour change for yourself going forwards. Lots of positives, but the there is a pressure that comes with it that people get to New Year and because everyone around them is taking on New Year's resolutions and we're talking about it and it's been talked about for eternity, yes. it puts a lot of pressure on people. Do you think that can actually be counterproductive? Absolutely. I think there is a huge societal pressure for New Year's resolutions. We don't go around every beginning of every month saying to someone, what are you going to change this month? And actually, say the 31st of December, everyone's there with a, a glass of something saying, what's your New Year's resolution going to be? And you think, oh my goodness, I haven't made one. <laughs> and actually, that could be a huge societal pressure for you. But you don't need to do it. It's your choice to do. And again, not for anyone else. But actually, society can help and support you in this by getting your friends and family involved and saying what you want to do. They can almost keep a check on you and you can talk them through it and show the, the nearest resolution that you want and they will be able to help you going forward. So I suppose society has pressures, but it does come with its good parts too. Rachel, thank you very much for coming in. Thank and you good so luck much. to anyone who is carrying out a resolution. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think if I'm going to carry out a resolution, it's to try and smile even when it's raining and I may need to do that now. Let's get the forecast with James.